guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl tupo if you're new here welcome 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 please subscribe like comment give me a thumbs up guys today i'm going to show you how to achieve these gorgeous bob braids and gorgeous bob twists so if you guys want to see how i achieve these looks please continue watching <laughs> All right, guys, my hair is already washed and moisturized. I'm going to be using my Shine and Jam and my Rat Seal Comb. So what I'm going to do is I'll start by sectioning my hair in the back, just a straight line, just exactly the way I'm doing. And then I'm going to be using my Shine and Jam just to make sure my lines are really nice and clean. So what I do is I like to section my hair, the whole head, and then I start, you know, braiding because this is easier, but you can do whatever works for you, sis, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm just going to be sectioning the lines exactly the way I'm doing. Done. I'm just gonna be using the rubber bands to hold the hair guys. Oh my gosh I'm gonna stress this again. We're not using rubber bands, but I'm just holding the hair assist I use uh, the technique that I'm doing right here Just you know using my rubber bands to hold the hair but not use the rubber bands when I'm braiding I have about 33 sections in my hair guys and I'm going to be using this expression hair. This is color violet. I use two packs of the expression hair. One pack, I'm gonna be cutting it into three and then the other pack into two because I wanted the longer pieces to be on the top right there. So you guys are gonna see what I'm talking about. Your hair is going to be sectioned like you're going to do a traditional braid, a smaller piece and a bigger piece. Taking the rubber band out, as you guys can see, I'm going to apply some shine and jump to my hair. You're just going to section your hair into three. Just do a normal braid like you're braiding your hair, okay? <laughs> Taking your um, crochet needle, placing it in. So the smaller piece, you're going to take it, place it on the crochet needle, and then pull it out, making sure it's nice and equal on both sides. it's already covering my natural hair and then you're going to take the bigger piece so first of all you're going to be taking your hair the smaller piece you're just going to hold it really nice and tight that way your hair is not protruding or anything like that and then you're going to take the bigger piece placing it on the top and you're just going to go round like you're making a circle around the hair that you already have okay and then you're just going to start braiding down. So that is exactly what we're doing. Very easy, very beginner friendly. Anybody can actually do this, sis. This is the easiest, like, oh my gosh, I'm sure you guys are like, Tupo, you always saying this is easy. Sis, when I tell you, try this, this one right here. go down to where I want the hair to stop and then I'm going to tie a little knot at the end so I'm gonna tie it twice because I want it to be really nice and secure so that's exactly what I'm doing oh my gosh very very easy while we're still talking sis have you subscribed to my channel don't forget to turn on your notification button so you do not miss out on any uploads because this channel is getting what juicy yes sis Today's shout out goes to Ian and Hannah. Thank you guys for supporting my channel. Thank you guys for rocking with me. You guys are the real MVPs. Okay. You want to take the bigger piece and then you're going to place it on the top. You're going to go round. So you're just going to go round like you're making a circle and then start braiding down. So this is very easy for my, for my sisters who cannot grip the roots and do a nice, you know, looking box braid. Right, guys so i'm going to show you again you're just going to take your shine and jam apply it to your hair making sure your your scalp is really nice and sleek or whatever and then you're just going to separate the hair into three and braid it down just exactly the way i'm doing <laughs> taking the smaller piece placing it on the crochet needle pull it out okay <laughs> you want to take the bigger piece and then you're going to place it on the top gonna go around like you're making a circle and then start braiding down all right guys just gonna take your shine and jam apply it to your hair making sure your your scalp is really nice and sleek or whatever Take 
take your crochet needle, place it in, taking the smaller piece, placing it on the crochet needle, close the latch, pull it out, and making sure it's nice and equal on both sides. Go around like you're making a circle, and then you're just gonna start braiding it down. hairstyle right here took me an hour and i was done sis i am not doing anything that's gonna take me a long time uh. okay sis <laughs> i'm just gonna take my mousse and make sure the hair is laid all the way down sis my Jamaican black castor oil mixed in with my coconut oil to make sure you know my scalp is nice and moisturizes that's what we gotta do I'm just gonna be taking my kiss edge fixer and making sure my baby hairs are laid or whatever so I'm using this edge brush that I got from Amazon you already know what it is by now Today, what I'm doing is I'm just gonna be burning the ends, okay? So just be very, very careful. I'm gonna be using this lighter that I got from the beauty supply. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna be using this bowl of water just to make sure when I touch the braid after I burn it, I don't get burned because this is gonna be cooling it down. I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut below the knot that I made, and then I'm going to be using my lighter just to, you know, to burn the end. So once I burn the end, I'm going to take my finger, into my little um, bowl of water. That's cold water, by the way, just tap water. And then I'm going to hold, you know, just to make sure I'm rubbing my fingers together, just to make sure it's nice and secure. It's nice and sealed at the bottom. If you want your braids to have a nice curve at the end, this is what you gotta do, you gotta burn the ends. But if you do not wanna burn the ends, you can actually use some accessories and it's just gonna look exactly the same. It's just gonna look really nice and cute as well, okay? And bebe, when I tell you this style came all the way through, yes, sis, I am feeling this hair right here. I am feeling this bob or whatever. <laughs> Let me know if you guys are feeling this purple right here because you know me, I love me some purple doll and I love me some purple. I cannot be the accessorizing queen without adding some accessories. Text their style all the way to boom, 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 100, okay? This is a nice back to school hairstyle that you can do. Let me know if you guys are going to be trying this technique right here. This is one of the easiest techniques that I have ever done. So sis, make sure you get on it. And make sure you're following me on Instagram at Tupo1. guys my hair is already washed and moisturized i'm going to be using my shine and jump my red tail comb my rubber bands my brazilian wool and my scissors to achieve this look so what i'm going to do is i'll take my red tail comb and then i'll start sectioning from the back from ear to ear just a straight line exactly the way i'm doing and then once i do that i'm going to section the hair into three sections and then once i section the first box i'm going to use my rubber band just to hold the hair and i'll be using the same rubber band for this hairstyle okay so I'm just using the rubber band to hold the hair out of the way that way you know I don't have to do too much once I'm done sectioning I am done because you guys can see my hair is really really thick okay so once I'm done sectioning I have about 32 sections all right so I'm just gonna take my Brazilian wool I'm using about four packs of the Brazilian wool so I'm just gonna measure how much I'm going to be using for each section so I'm going for a bob so I decided to measure the hair um, just all the way down to my shoulder I got this from Amazon and I'm gonna put everything in the description below once I'm done measuring I'm just gonna take my scissors and then cut both sides and then I'm going to have like one big bunch of hair and I love 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 this wool honey I'm going to be using three strands for each section so I'm just gonna take my scrunchie and secure the rest of the hair out of the way so I'm going to be working with one box at a time and you already know I gotta make sure I pull out my baby hair so you know once we're done we look all the way cute or whatever
Ah. I'm going to take that rubber band off, but I'm going to place it very close to me because I'm going to be using that same rubber band to secure this hair, okay? So I'm just gonna take my shine and jam, apply it to this section, making sure it is really nice and clean and juicy or whatever. And then I'm going to take a little bit more of the shine and jam, apply it to my scalp just to make sure it is really nice and clean. And then I'm going to section my natural hair into two. Taking the three strands of the Brazilian wool, making sure they're nice and equal on both sides, placing it in between my natural hair and then using the same rubber band that I was using to secure my natural hair with. I'm going to use the same rubber band and secure this hair right about now, okay? So once I secure the hair, I'm just gonna take my natural hair, section my natural hair into two and give it a little tug, but not way too tight that I'm about to break my natural hair. I'm going to take a little bit more of the shine and jump, apply it to the remaining of my natural hair so that it is easier for me to tuck it into the Brazilian wool. And then once I do that, I'm just gonna start twisting all the way down, sis, period. Very, very easy. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how many times I'm about to say easy because it is easy. Once you try this style right here, you're gonna come back and say, Tupo, you were right. Where have you been all my life? I've been around, you just didn't know about me. But now that you know about me, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Once I get to where, you know, I feel like this is where the bob is going to end. I'm going to take another rubber band and secure that just to make sure it does not unravel, sis, okay? So that is all I'm doing. Very, very easy, very beginner friendly. Anybody can actually do this. Anyway, so I'm gonna take my shine and jam, apply it to the section and make sure it is nice and straight and clean or whatever. Then I'm just gonna take a little bit more of the shine and jam, apply it to the section, okay? So I'm going to make sure I apply it to the scalp right there, exactly the way I'm doing. And then I'm going to section the hair into two. Taking the strands of wool, three strands for each section, I'm going to make sure they're nice and equal on both sides and then I'm just gonna place them in between my natural hair. And once I do that, I'm just gonna take my rubber band and secure it, okay? So I'm not gonna be securing way too tight because I wanna make sure my natural hair does not break or I'm not trying to give myself a headache or anything like that, sis. And I'm going to be securing about four or five times exactly the way I'm doing. Once I'm done securing the hair, I'm going to section the hair into two and then give it a little tug. I'm going to take a little bit more of the shine and jump, apply it to the remaining of my natural hair. Just gonna tuck it into the top strand of the wool and then I'm going to twist it all the way down. And exactly the way I'm saying, very, very easy, very beginner friendly. Anybody can actually do this. And because the wool is black, it is actually really really easy to tuck in and you know i'm not even trying honey and it is coming all the way what through period <laughs> I'm going to take that rubber band off. I'm gonna take my shine and jam, apply it to the section, making sure it is really nice and clean and juicy or whatever. And then I'm going to take a little bit more of the shine and jam, apply it to my scalp, just to make sure it is really nice and clean. And then I'm going to section my natural hair into two. Taking the three strands of the Brazilian wool, placing it in between my natural hair, making sure they're nice and equal on both sides. And then using the same rubber band that I was using to secure my natural hair with, I'm going to use the same rubber band and secure this hair. <laughs> section my natural hair into two and give it a little tug and once I do that I'm going to take a little bit more of the shine and jump apply it to the remaining of my natural hair and while we're still talking sis have you subscribed to my channel don't forget to turn on your notification button so you do not miss out on any uploads because this channel is getting what juicy yes sis <laughs> easiest way you can achieve twists if you don't know how to grip the roots if you don't know how to twist i mean this is it i'm going to put the rest of the hair out of the way using my scrunchie i'm going to take that rubber band off but i'm going to place it very close to me because i'm going to be using that same rubber band to secure this hair okay so i'm just gonna take my shine and jump apply it to my scalp just to make sure it is really nice and clean and then i'm going to section my natural hair into two taking the three strands of the brazilian wool making sure they're nice and equal on both sides placing it in between my natural hair and then using the same rubber band that i was using to secure my natural hair with i'm 
going to use the same rubber band and secure it okay so i'm not going to be securing way too tight because i want to make sure my natural hair does not break or i'm not trying to give myself a headache or anything like that so i'm just going to tuck it into the top strand of the wool and then i'm going to twist it all the way down exactly the way i'm saying very very easy very beginner friendly anybody can actually do this rubber bands do not break my hair i don't know if it's this shine and gem because the shine and gem is really oily and once i'm taking the hair out i make sure my hair is nice and moisturized i'm just gonna take my kiss edge fixer and make sure i lay these baby hairs using the brush that i got from where from amazon you already know what it is by now and then i'm going to be using my styling strips just so you know everything is nice and laid and situated actually going to be using these little accessories that i got from amazon i'm putting everything in the description below if you want you can burn the ends but i want to you know do these little accessories because you know me and i'm just gonna take my scissors and cut the excess hair okay and that's about it and baby when i tell you this brazilian wool twist came all the way through yes sis. I am living for this twist right about now. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are feeling it. Let me know if you guys are going to be trying it. Let me know if you guys think this is a hot style or whatever. Because baby, at this point, I am feeling myself. And this twist right here are light. They are pain-free. They are tension-free. Let me know if you guys think this style right here is giving. Okay? This style right here is taking this tuple all the way to 100. Period. <laughs> and you already know i gotta give you a few ways on how you can rock this hair so i'm just gonna flip it to the side and baby it took the style all the way to boop 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 100 let me know if you guys are feeling it let me know if you guys are going to be trying this <laughs> If you have never tried any of my styles, you better get into this one because period, you are going to look cute, okay? And you already know I gotta give you another way. I'm just gonna take a few strands, pull it up, and use my scrunchie to secure it. And baby, this little style came all the way through as well. And let me know if you guys are feeling this hairstyle right here. Let me know if you guys are going to be trying this wool. Let me know if you guys wanna see a few colors on this wool or whatever. Cause baby, I am feeling myself and this is painful free tension free anyway thank you guys so so much for watching my videos thank you so much for subscribing thank you for liking thank you for all the love i cannot believe we are here today let's get to 1 million subscribers because baby at this point it is up from here but make sure you're sharing these videos with your cousins your besties your mamas and your aunts because sharing is caring and i will catch you guys in my next one bye